everybody. I'm Mr. Hall. And I'm Mrs. Parker. And uh, we're the two PE teachers here at Everett Middle School. So right now you're seeing our awesome gym. And if you took PE, some things you would expect is we would do your typical team sport activities such as basketball, football, and a whole lot of other things. And then we would do some individual dual activities such as pickleball and badminton. The really cool thing about Everett PE is you wear heart rate monitors every single day so you get to learn more about how your body works. Then we also have a wonderful biking program here where you get to experience mountain bikes and learning bike safety, how to take care of a bike, how to ride a bike. We also have a fitness center where you learn proper mechanics, form, body, muscles. So feel free to take our classes. We'd be really looking forward to um, teaching you. And just remember, uh, we are really lucky to have the facilities that we do at Everett. Hi, I'm Ms. Nieto and I teach STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And so in class we're going to be doing a lot of fun different experiments where we build catapults, we'll build water rockets, we're going to learn how to code on the computer, also learn some typing skills. You'll probably learn how to uh, do some coding with robots and learn how to, uh, how to work with robots as well. And also, hopefully, you'll get the chance to play with some circuitry and learn how circuits and uh, energy works in class. Um, we do also spend a good amount of time just getting to know each other and having fun on the computers together, teamwork and problem solving together. Um, it's a lot of experimenting and trying new things together. Um, so I hope you join my class. Hi, it's Miss Woodbury reminding you a little bit about the Everett Art Program if you decide to sign up and take art classes. Uh, we do a lot of 2D, 3D, so that means drawing, painting, collage, mixed media, a little bit of sculpture, clay work. Um, every semester is different. Every year I have some new programs, new classes that we're doing. Mostly it's about the fact that it's for you to be creative, not so much about if you draw well. You don't need to draw well to be in art class, you just have to be willing to do the work and be a creative thinker and solve problems in a creative way. And that is how we do things here in the Everett Art Room. I'm Mr. Leonard and I teach Tech Ed. Tech Ed is a hybrid class that combines a traditional industrial arts program with career relevant STEM skills. Students design and build a variety of projects with wood, plastic, metal, and electronics. Students learn to use the scroll saw, band saw, drill press, lathe, and a variety of hand tools. Students also learn to design on paper and use CAD for 3D modeling. This class introduces students to a variety of skills, opening up a variety of options for students to pursue in high school. Past projects include CO2 cars, circuits, animal boxes, pens, bridges, roller coasters, and plywood furniture. So in the theater studio, we get the opportunity to do some improv which sounds scary at first, but it's really a lot of fun. It's a lot of games and a lot of things that we get to do in our everyday life. We don't think of it being classwork. We also get to do a lot of design work. So for those people who aren't really quite sure that they want to be on the stage but want to be a part of our production, it's really fun. We do um, set design, costume design, sometimes makeup design. And then we also do, of course, acting. So we get the opportunity to look at some Shakespeare, we get to look at some regular plays, we do some one acts that we write, and we do some monologues. We get to do all of that in class, we have opportunities to perform outside of class, and then we put together an entire production, which usually is about a 10 to 20 minute show, and everybody is involved, whether that's on the production side or performance. And generally, we just have a lot of fun. It's a great place to find out who you are and to establish your voice. So I hope you come and join. Oh, hi. I didn't see you guys there. My name is Mr. Snyder, and I'm the choir teacher here at Everett Middle School. And if you'd like to be part of the coolest class in school, if you'd like to go to eulogies at the end of every year, if you idolize people like Freddie Mercury and Beyonce, then choir is the class for you. In our class, we'll get to sing awesome music, 
meet awesome people, and be part of a great big family. Come join choir next year at Everett. Hi, do you want to be awesome and learn how to play great music? My name is Mrs. Reardon and I teach band here. I teach a variety of instruments including woodwinds, which are flutes, clarinets, saxophones, oboe, and bassoon. <laughs> I also teach brass instruments, which are things like trumpets, French horn, trombone, and tuba and euphonium. And I teach percussion, which is things like drums and cymbals, marimbas, chimes, gongs, everything you could think of. We do a lot, a lot of great field trips, things like e-liches, we go to festival, kids make friends, and we have an awesome time. Uh, you don't have to have ever played an instrument to be in my class before we can start you from the very beginning. And if you already are in band, I'll see you next year. Hi, my name is Mrs. Latender, and I teach the orchestra classes at Everett. In orchestra, you can learn how to play the violin, viola, cello, or bass. And you can sign up for orchestra even if you've never played an instrument before. We have two orchestra classes. Concert orchestra is for students who are just starting an instrument or who have some experience already. Chamber orchestra is for students who are ready to play more advanced music. Both classes have several concerts during the year and also some field trips. We learn how to play lots of different types of music. We also have school instruments available to rent so you don't even have to have your own. I hope you will consider signing up for orchestra. Hola, soy Maestra Neve, la Maestra de Español. Hi, I'm Miss Neve, and I would like to invite you to join Spanish One. Spanish One allows seventh and eighth graders to come in who have not been exposed to Spanish before to learn how to speak and become bilingual. Then I have Spanish Two. Once you master Spanish One, you automatically move, you roll into Spanish 2 the next year if you're in 7th grade with me. And for 8th graders, you will be in Spanish 2 at the high school. También tengo la clase de herencia española. I also have a Spanish heritage class that I will be teaching next year. For the first time, we will separate our Spanish speakers from our non-Spanish speakers. And it will actually improve the learning environment for all students. Es muy importante que los estudiantes que hablan español necesiten aprender cómo escribir y leer bastante bien en tu idioma. So it's important that Spanish speakers are able to learn to read and write in their native language to help them acquire English even better and it is now mandated by the district in our nation that as Spanish speakers you must become biliterate and therefore you must satisfy this for the district when you graduate. So that is what my class is going to do is to help you. You can't always get what you want You can't always get what you want you can't always get what you want But if you try sometimes, well, you might find